The bus goes on and it's full and it's on and it's full on and it's going on and it's morning and it's evening and it's evening in Holland and it's dating my mum and it's full and it's stop right and it stops and it's suspicious and it starts and it won't fucking start and it's in eBay and it's shouting and it's shopping and it's shitting and it's dying and it's rapping and it's flapping and it's lit up like a bloody Christmas tree and it's dark and it's shut fuck up and it's a little paper umbrella stuck in the top in Dutch and it's breaking my back and it's full of babies and it's full of men and it's full of babies men and it's full of men who love babies and it's full of bombs oh no this is horrible it's going on and it's past the Vietnamese windmill and it's past the silver button the machine starts roaring it's waiting for Sinatra to start eating tomatoes and it's the smell of chips and vinegar well actually it's the smell of piss and cum and it's kissing Eileen and it's full of poor people and it's full of drunk rain people who probably don't have a brain cell between them and it's packets of salt and vinegar crisps and it's over the canal and it's drinking bleach <laughs> don't like that. and it's the homework in late and it's the strict teacher who's angry because your fucking homework's in late I'm very sorry miss Goodall I can't control public transportation so that's how I left school with no G. See this? He's <laughs> <laughs> My dad says after the war was over, everyone came any way you want it, it's the way you need it. The Holly. Do you know, people say to me, why the fuck are you making a Michael Rosen YouTube into that sound? <laughs> 22. Fair enough, and I'll tell you, it's because. Anyway, I've been watching Michael Rosen YouTube for about 40 years. <laughs> I mean 10 years because of this. I more or less know all the poems by heart. Yes, no need for any fancy sentence mixing program. Such a sad, sad life. <laughs> but I suppose it pays the bills. Uh, actually, um, I don't pay any bills. I still live with my parents because the he called me is in a fucking state of decay. Do you know at the beginning of the week I filled up my car with petrol? Um, this delete. And it was money. And he looked at our windmills. What in the ever living fuck? We went to this cafe. Cool story, bro. We went to this cafe and mum turned to me and said, you see that bloke over there? I think that's Boris Johns. And so I said, mum, that's just a mop. Oh, why not get your eyes tested? You my dop it, bitch. Not long after, a few days later, we went to the cafe again. And mum turned to me and said, look, it's Boris Johns. And oh, no, it isn't, I said. But lo and behold, there he was, the prime minister. She's us fucking Christ. She was eating hundreds of chips, hundreds and hundreds of the bloody things. She said to the waitress, she said, Mmm, you smell nice. She said that sexual harassment <laughs> could be trouble. Anyway, he said, You can't sue me. I'm the mother fucking prime minister. And the woman started crying. Hmm. Then, Suddenly the man came in, he had a moustache, well actually, he had a baseball bat, and he said, I'm telling you this, if you don't get the fuck out of my cafe, I'm gonna beat you until you piss blood, do you understand? And so the Prime Minister ran and ran and jumped out the window, and then suddenly I remembered we were being the shard. Wendy, I can fly! Ha! And he just died. My mum was delighted. I was delighted. The Labour Party was delighted. 